I'm Simon. And I'm Lydia. And we're The Lodges. From the Midlands, we actually met at secondary school, so we're from Barton and Needwood, which is a very quaint little village, very white, very middle class, just outside of Derby. And now we live in Bristol, we live in Fish Ponds, just down the road from church, so not far away at all. Yeah, we moved about a month ago, six weeks, into Fish Ponds. I think, well, like we said, we've just moved house, so a lot of our pastime at the moment is painting and decorating. Yeah. I've always liked um, upcycling furniture, um, so I find that quite therapeutic, but also gardening. And we're just learning new things. Like two weeks ago, Simon's parents came and taught us how to build a wall. So we've practiced bricklaying. You know, we're halfway there. Less than halfway there, but less yeah. Than Optimistic. <laughs> so things Lots like that. Go. Yeah. Also, just anything in the house, DIY, we'll yeah. give it a go. Who knows what it will still be up in a few weeks, but we love it. It's yeah. good fun. Our favourite holidays so far have probably been Croatia. Yeah. We absolutely loved it there. Beautiful, beautiful place. And cheap. And cheap, <laughs> yeah, which is always good. Flies direct from Bristol uh, when planes are running. And probably secondly... New York. New York. Yeah, which was a treat. Uh, but we only went there really because Simon was working out there. So we just kind of made a long weekend into it. It was absolutely beautiful. But then we came back and Simon was like, let's move to New York. So I've been trying to kind of stop that from happening because I want to stay in Bristol. But when we think <laughs> maybe new, one day. Life Church New York, starting soon. <laughs> um, I don't think I have um, a constant Bible verse that is my favourite all the time. I think it changes depending on what I need to be reminded of um, at any point in life. And so at the moment, I'm trying to tackle the kind of critical voice inside my head um, that kind of puts myself down a little bit. So there's a verse in 2 Corinthians 10 um, that talks about taking your thoughts captive and bringing them before God. Um, I particularly like the Passion Translation. It's verse five, which says, we can demolish every deceptive fantasy that opposes God and break through every arrogant attitude that is raised up in defiance of the true knowledge of God. Is as we capture, like prisoners of war, every thought and insist that it bow in obedience to the anointed one. So I really like that one at the moment. Yeah, that's cool. Um, mine's probably less a verse and more of a characteristic of Jesus we see. Um, I'm being challenged a lot right now on um, hurriedness in life and slowing down and simplifying things. Um, and one of the core kind of characteristics we see of Jesus in the scriptures is how he constantly was taking himself away to be quiet, to be alone, to do nothing, to spend time with God. So yeah, for me right now, that's mm. a real pertinent one, just to make sure that I keep doing that and don't just fill my time with everything and anything that I can. Nice. Thanks. Random fact about us. We struggled with this one. Simon? <laughs> I don't know why we're embarrassed. Don't team me up like that. <laughs> we met in the school jazz band. So in case you didn't know, <laughs> Lydia plays the saxophone. Or play. She insists that she doesn't play anymore. It's been a decade, I don't think I do anymore. But we were very much, or yeah, we were very much music geeks at school. And that's where we met. Drums mm. and saxophone, the way forwards. Yeah, and I talked to him because he had a WWJD wristband on. I was like, oh, another Christian. And then he made some comment or some joke which I didn't understand. I don't know how we ever ended up married. <laughs> it's the start of every good budding relationship, <laughs> a joke about Jesus. Uh, yeah. There we go. Fun. <laughs> <laughs>